Hello everyone. I would like to welcome Dr. Gautam Saha, who is the Dean at Maharashtra Institute of Technology. Thank you so much, sir, for being on our platform and taking out the time to be a part of an initiative, Thoughts on Education. This initiative will help to bridge the long due gap between the vision of the top management and the students. So, sir, first of all, I would like to have your introduction and please brief us about your profile. All right. Thank you very much for inviting such a uh, big forum. The college dunya is one of the known forum among students and the faculty members or specifically in the uh, technical education itself. So thank you again for inviting me. Uh, about me, I have around uh, uh, 22 years of experience, uh, including uh, 10 years I was in industry. I worked as business analyst in, uh, uh, in the field of information technology. And um, after that, uh, but during my uh, uh, association with the uh, uh, industry also, I was very much interested in to be in, uh, uh, in academics. So I was invited in various universities and institutions to deliver sessions on uh, certain uh, topics related to IT and the business uh, related subjects. So I got uh, developed that interest and then uh, the Actually, 2009, uh, I joined uh, full-time uh, as, uh, as a management uh, professor and uh, and I got registered for my PhD also parallelly. So, I've started uh, Equip myself and I've started, uh, you know, uh, engaging myself with the world of education. And today by uh, 2021, uh, so I have joined this institution as a dean uh, and a professor of marketing and strategic management. Uh, before that, I started with my career with the MGM Group of Institution Aurangabad as a dean. Uh, I worked there for around six years. And after that, uh, I was uh, Dean Academics uh, with uh, DY Patil School of Management Pune uh, uh, for a certain time. And uh, and after that, now I am with the MIT Group of Institution, Aurangabad. And uh, after my PhD, I also got a research fellowship from uh, Minister of HRD, the department that is called ICSSR. They have uh, sponsored my uh, research idea and I've executed that also and uh, submitted to Government of India. The research part was related to transformation of values by management education. And um, apart from that, I have written three books. Uh, recently, uh, I have written a book on psychology for corporate leaders, been published by a Delhi-based uh, publisher. And uh, 30 national and international uh, research articles I published till today. I am a consultant to a few companies uh, nearby in Aurangabad and Pune and a regular um, a trainer for their certain activities. So this is in a short uh, about me. Also recently I've been appointed by um, Government of Maharashtra to develop a project on incubation. And apart from that, uh, my association with the uh, other institution university, like I am uh, Board of Studies and the Academic Council member of Symbiosis Skills and uh, uh, Professional Universities Pune. Uh, and uh, Board of Studies member of ICFI University, uh, Tiripura. So this is in a nutshell about me. Yes, sir. So, sir, it was very great to hear about you. So, sir, should we start with the interview questions? Yeah. So, sir, my first question to you is that kindly tell us about your experience in the education industry and what makes it the best industry to work in. Uh, as I mentioned earlier that I've all worked with industry and then I am in academic. So I can really very well uh, see the bridge uh, which is uh, connecting the, both the world. You know, uh, it's like a you know, will and excel. You know, the will of industry, it moves on the uh, uh, excel of education. If it moves, then only industry will move. So there's a, uh, uh, both that uh, 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 this world is working in tandem. Uh, so that, you know, if it is education industry is growing, so industry and other uh, corporate world will grow in, in this time. So I, I feel really, uh, it's very interesting and fascinating to see that, you know, um, I'm getting a very matured brain, um, uh, all these PG student and MBA, because they're coming to me after 10 plus 2 plus 3, you know, 15 years of their, and they're completing their undergraduate program and carrying the 15 years of set of knowledge. And they're coming to me uh, for two years of period. 
so so that is and grooming them and and see with time they're growing um, and uh, you see that in another down the line 10 years you find them they're posi- getting a wonderful positions in their life and they're getting settled down they're coming out a lot of ideas this is really a very interesting uh, you know feelings that other uh, that see you know, these peer students are actually growing and apart from that you know you you are in a profession of uh, training you are in a profession of like you know teaching and you are in a profession of leading a team of faculty members and all it's quite fascinating and um, and i see with time a uh, lot of developments are happening uh, in the field of education as uh, a technological adoption also uh, equally making it this field more exciting and more challenging also so we as a faculty or uh, that we need to really adopt this technological advancement so that we can make education more joyful and uh, students should be inclined uh, to learn more and more from this field so that is all overall my experience and i am very excited to be in this uh, particular profession Yes, sir. So, sir, my next question to you is that what are the significant challenges that you have faced as the dean of the college? Uh, challenges rather I will say see I worked in a different uh, different parts of our country like I worked in Delhi I worked in Pune like city and Aurangabad that so that way if I compare if I find the you know the students of this region like from Maharashtra and the part of this Maratha region I find you know students are bit uh, uh, in terms of the behavioral aspect bit submissive you know they listen to you more and uh, you know they don't ask much of questions so that is what is i feel one of the uh, challenge these days you know i am facing here yes of course with time we will um, overcome that and um, of course communication skills is also um, uh, of students are is again um, uh, the real issue the awareness but uh, this thing can be overcome very easily and a uh, few more thing bluntly if i say uh, many institution i have seen the financial constraints uh, uh you know in terms of investment for the de- growth of the department i and i told you that i'm becoming a bit blunt in that case but i think uh, uh the promoters should put more and more money and uh, should give more and more resources uh so that uh, this uh, we can we can do better uh, what we exactly right now doing yes sir so sir my next question to you is that how do you tend to establish a relation with the student and how do you make yourself available to them yeah so uh, uh frankly speaking i see uh, uh relationship development of relationship with student um, i think uh, uh, that's more vital because ultimately uh, why do you have this kind of institution uh, why do you have this kind of setup so that you know the, those are coming as a student uh, uh, as a set of undergraduate set of knowledge and they should go out with a pg level of knowledge and um, rather i look at into the it's a kind of in a dead end of their entire career in terms of learning and then they become very much useful for the society you know they finish a pg may uh, very few people will find they come for another pg program they the by the time they start their own career so uh, i think we uh, really need to make student understand about the tangible and intangible growth when i say tangible so marks and other things are very tangible right so Uh, if somebody is saying that i have passed with 70% so what does it mean it doesn't mean that you know he he or she passed with first class but i look into the another intangible aspect which is attached to is that you know uh, uh, in 70% it means that you know 70% of the class that's the reason it has been evaluated and marks been uh, uh, awarded to a student so student really need to understand what is the tangible aspect of it uh, and the intangible thing means the set of knowledge set of skills they are acquiring from the uh, that particular program so we need to really make them understand so that you can engage them more like you know i feel that you know the student should understand the meaning of articulation because they uh need to really understand many things so they read uh, many many pages in a day or throughout a program many books uh in the uh, or in the form of articles or research uh, journals um, even they listen to professors or they listen to many videos or listen to many guest faculty so they really need to uh, understand the meaning behind what somebody is trying to convey 
so that i feel that way you can really uh, establish more uh, relationship with student if they really understand the meaning of this aspect even also um, the, try to uh, bring certain set of uh, change in attitude uh, among your students uh, i mean so the very positive attitude they should they should bring in um, uh, individually so how we as a professor we as a institution develop this sense of uh, this attitude towards them so that is and and uh, converting something into a habits like you know studying every day or understanding meeting people or uh, exchanging thoughts this should be part of their habit now it is not a once in a blue moon they should not do this it should be every day basis they should uh, make sure that they are meeting people and doing all these activities what i mentioned and then also they should uh, need to understand the uh, do the gap analysis gap analysis mean to say suppose student those are taking admission in 2021 the today the economical condition of globe economical condition of our country is to be different but 2023 2023 they will come out so that time the economical condition will change so they need to do a uh, keep a track of it you know how things are changing which all of the uh, specific industry or specific areas are uh, uh, growing and, uh, and 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 coming out uh, with a lot of development so they need to have a, a track of those things then only they can uh, grab the opportunities those are uh, in future is available so i think the, together all this thing um, uh, if you do if you make them understand so you uh, connect better with your students so you engage them in properly so you can plan uh, to uh, uh, convey them that and uh, yes we care for you and uh, they also uh, get a lot of confidence in, in the career development process yes yes sir so my next question to you is that please tell us about the efforts behind establishing such a successful college and how do you plan to take it to greater heights see uh, of course you are talking about a futuristic point of view yes my uh, aspiration i uh, use this particular word for this uh, uh, answering this question my aspiration is that i should make sure that this should become one of the institution of preference and uh, uh, another institution i am saying top institution or kind of thing no i i i i want this institution of preference because of the faculty member the set of faculty members we have this institution should be a preference because of uh, uh, the, the, the its teaching learning methodology this faculty institution should be preferred as a as one of the best uh, infrastructural thing in terms of management institution so with time another uh, down the line another 2 to 5 years i think i want to see that that student should uh, prefer this institution for uh, the different specialization this is one and second as you mentioned about uh, uh, what uh, established as uh, you know uh, behind establishing such institution i will share with you one concept that we have adopted here i call it a mission 700 days so mission 700 days means what a uh, mba a two years program is 365 into 2 but symbolically i have taken 700 days so when it is a mission for you so this is something time bound activity so there something you need to achieve you need to target uh, target that you need to achieve or you need to reach so there's a time bound thing so it's a 700 days you get to engage your student to engage your different activities your research activity your teaching activity your industry connect connection to your placement activities but the faculty development everything is coming under the 700 days every year every two years of that program so that particular model that we have uh, actually adopted man and this is really helping it's a very uh, well thought and well uh, proved system what i have uh, engaging this for last uh, 10 12 years and i've been very successful in defining this among my faculty members and among my students also so so 700 days and today suppose you consider the first day of mba for student so of this session so today 700 days so tomorrow it will be 699th day day after tomorrow it will be 698th day so you are actually uh, uh, marching towards you know every day uh, uh, is passing and you need to calculate that what you are actually learning what is your take away of the of the day end of the day so that is what is this particular model uh, i have adopted and this is this is how i am actually establishing the institute 
and um, and it is growing and it will grow yes sir so sir my next question to you is that how do you create a student centric environment in your college uh, uh See, when we say um, uh, student-centric environment, so I have already mentioned. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, uh, the student that you get, like you know, our intake is sixty uh, here. I I look at this uh, the sixty different minds, and um, you need to really bring them to common platform. This is okay, but it should not be a kind of a rote education. Rote education means that when you are asking one question. And you are uh, uh, expecting a similar sixty answer. That's called road education. Means you are not encouraging, uh, uh, or you are not motivating student to uh, uh, to be creative or bring in innovation in their thought process. Anything. So my idea is that you know when you are giving them one question, one concept, a sixty should come out with the different ideas. We should, and that is what is how uh, uh, really you are you are, you are talking about is uh, student centric. You really need to expose them to the uh, to visualize the future also. You need to make them more responsible. You need to make them more accountable, because uh, uh, it's not about individually their life they are leading, but many people are contributing for their growth also. We really need to make them understand. It's not about he or she is alone studying MBA and kind of see the contribution of parents, contribution of uh, teachers, the contribution of uh, many other people in a, from society itself. So they are helping them to grow. So that that sense that we are trying to uh, uh, bring among our students. So that is how uh, I'm a really um, uh, this student sending and also I mentioned about this uh, mission 700 days. I always tell my students is the last 700 days in your career to save your self respect. Why? Because once you finish your MBA, you are in the age band of 23 to 25 or 26. So you become so mature that you sometimes you feel ashamed to ask money uh, from your parents also. Because they have done enough in the last seventeen years for you, ten plus two plus three plus this two. So now it's your turn to do something for them. At least keep in your know, mind that uh, forget about country and society. Many such no big jargons. At least you think I, I I want to do something for my parents. That is enough. So this is how I'm also engaging this student and creating this student centric environment. Also, I tell them that the last seven hundred days uh, to do something. Uh, for your own pleasure, uh, for society or the country also. So make yourself uh, competent enough so that you can shoulder uh, many others responsibly. So this is what we do here. Yes, sir. So, sir, my next question to you is that how do you integrate uh, integrate value based education with your curriculum? Wonderful. I think uh, this is a very good question that you ask because. Uh, uh, these days, uh, value-based education uh, is is become primary. And uh, if you remember, even I remember my school days and all uh, that time when I was chill, like you know uh, going to school. Uh, these, these things, the uh, value-based education, uh, like Panchatantra ki kahaniya or Ramayan ki katha hai or Mahabharat ki katha hai, then we used to get from the uh, from from. Uh, from uh, many people from dadi or from nani or dada dadu or even from teachers also so those things were always uh, developing a different sense or different character uh, for uh, for all of us but today uh, you know in this uh, very fusion kind of society or the environment uh, that is and the uh, very nuclear type type of family where you know dada dadi are missing and uh, nana nani are also missing so then it has become pertinent that you know institution should shoulder and give them certain value education so for that most important i feel man we need to connect our student with people People from different strata of the society. You know how people are actually struggling, how people are actually living. You know, in a, I I read many articles related to this uh, the world crisis of water. Even you know many countries have started facing the drinking water, the the healthcare condition, and even education, uh, uh, healthcare, education, even trans, many many fields. 
जैपे जी है मेरी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो आई थिंक वी नीड टू सेंसिटाइज आवर स्टूडेंट बाई कनेक्टिंग विद पीपल और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनजीओ एंड अदर थिंग इट्स नॉट ए सिंपल विजिट टू एनजीओ is not a simple visit to a uh, old age home and uh, see and one day you went there and talk to them that so oh, this village you're visiting a blind school no we need to engage them through this you know this i will request that undergraduate colleges also they need to engage their student uh, this uh, this fashion so um, we need to we are actually encouraging student to be part of a uh, I, we have internally engage uh, formed one ngo a name we have given a pravaha pravaha means and with a title called jivan ki dhara so through the, that ngo and through that societal uh, uh, edu societal activity uh, we are engaging students and trying to pass on certain values uh, human values among them the values for the, uh, the you know dignity of the level also i know there should not be a difference among people that is what we are doing it um, and and even uh, we are engaging uh, part of this uh, edu edu socio connect uh, part of the activity we are engaging now we have planned to have a training programs for auto rickshaw drivers also or maybe my different this kind of other uh, also social group so this is how uh, we are actually creating this value based uh, education or the value based education empowerment institution yes ma'am what do you yes sir so my next question to you is what would be your advice to the students who are going to join your ideal school environment and how would you encourage that kind of culture ha ideal business school environment uh, i will give you answer in a very short it should be a uh kind of uh, uh, a free to share where student can share anything their ideas free uh they they should be free to innovate free to uh, uh you know explore the thing i know there's a, no regimental you know process in all these aspects and uh, they should be uh, they should be able to stress their potential to bring in the fresh ideas for the world or the or to generate the, their idea should convert it into a potential product or services and those product and services should uh, generate more employability for the society that is what is i will consider as an ideal as a, a environment uh, education environment or school that you are asking me that is what is all my uh but uh, what i understand also uh, they need to understand that technology driven environment because technology can only make our life easy today you and me are interacting through this uh, platform called zoom and uh, that is because it is a blessing of the technology so uh, a student should come out with many such ideas and they should make uh, uh, the life of a human being uh, more easier uh, in the future Yes, sir. So, sir, my next question to you is that what goals do you have in your mind for your institution for the next few years? Yeah, I I told you earlier also that question is like this. It goes like as I mentioned. I want uh, that in another down the line, uh, three to five years, this should be institution of preference. Uh, and uh, also uh, recently we have uh, um, uh, just established one center called corporate uh, there was center for corporate learning ccl and uh, the objective of this particular uh, center is to develop uh, three different uh, to provide three different services first is mdb management development program for industry second is value added program vap for the students of undergraduate and graduate students for nearby colleges of aurangabad and this maratwada region that through that we will be giving a lot of uh, value based education for students apart from their syllabus which will complement their uh, existing syllabus and third is faculty development pro because if you want to develop students then you need to develop your faculties also parallelly so it's not about only teaching learning methodology it is something learning teaching methodology because we need to learn more and, and then only we can teach and we can deliver so that is what is in my mind and uh, down the line 5 years institution of preference and to develop this uh, center for corporate learning um, the activity through that we will be connecting to industry uh to the students and to faculty also so that is what is my uh, expected goal and uh, we will definitely achieve it
Yes, sir. Right, ma'am. Uh, so, sir, my last question to you is that what suggestions would you like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Uh, I will uh, say this way uh, to the students group that in a set. Uh, the right but a challenging goal in your life but uh, it should not be beyond your ability but neither below your individual capabilities and uh, capacity so don't be assertive be humble you know i have seen many a times uh, these youngsters how they behave with their parents how they talk uh, it it's, it feels very it's very uh, uh, paining to looking at this so please be assertive towards them at least to the parents and the teacher that the most important uh, uh, component of your life because they that uh, somebody is giving you life and somebody is giving you a career so please be humble don't compete with anyone uh, com but you know, compliment or other say collaborate with people you know so don't come bit every time no need to do that don't go for that uh, that racing kind of thing and don't be after money be after happiness the money will be a by product of of course when you have money what is more important that you should enjoy that money so what is important is a mental state that the happiness that you need to get and student my appeal to all of you our country is crying for you know uh, i if i make a big list like kind of the crying for the better health care uh, better education better water nutrition or even sanitation so your creativity i believe our innovation can provide opportunity to you to contribute towards all this field. so it's my uh, humble Uh, the request to all of you and my submission to all of you please think about how you can really develop our country more so that you can take more uh, shoulder more responsibilities so that you can make uh, this uh, 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 this country like another you know it's already a great country how you can make it a more kind of thing. so that is all uh, from my side yes sir so sir it was very good to hear you Thank you so much for connecting with us and for giving us your valuable time. And I'm sure when students will watch this interview, they will definitely get the direction. And I thank you again for being a part of the initiative. Thank you very much, ma'am, for inviting me, uh, sharing my thought, and it was wonderful uh, knowing you, meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, uh, this College Dunia platform. Uh, from uh, the on behalf of MIT group of institution uh, uh, i really uh, i wish you all the best for your future endeavor thank you ma'am yes sir thank you